Meanie Middle School was a huge part of my uh, 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 rap beginnings, and it was just a huge part of uh, me musically. Um, so there's an interesting relationship here. There's a, a, a band teacher by the name of Mr. Wadey Irvin. Mr. Wadey Irvin was also good friends with my parents at the time. So I had this weird dynamic with him. I, I you know, I... I, I I, I, I liked him, but then I didn't because, you know, I get in trouble a lot and he would always tell my parents. But anyway, <laughs> what ended up happening was, you know, rap started and um, we basically didn't have any equipment to uh, to actually make tracks or beats or even record for that matter. And at the time I was uh, playing drums. I played drums since I was four years old and um he would have me play drums in the band. So I was in like all four bands or whatever at the school. We were trying to figure out how we're going to record um, this stuff. We had no equipment. We had nothing. Uh, Mr. Irvin uh, basically had um, a keyboard at his house. He also had uh, like a four track recorder. So that was four different tracks you could record on. And he had some mics and a couple other things. And he offered uh, us the opportunity to come uh, to his house and uh, record the song. So we got there and um, basically I pounded out the beat just with some sonic drums or something with the keyboard. Boom, boom, chat, 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 boom, chat, 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 boom, boom, chat. And then I made a little bass line on top. And then with the other two tracks, we we did our rap. And um, that rap and that song uh, eventually was uh, uh, broadcasted live. It was the first song we've ever heard ourselves on the radio from uh, K Fox Fresh Tracks. And uh, really, that's all thanks to Mr. Urban. But I, I, I could even go further um about uh mr urban a lot of teachers back then didn't really care you know and i could say that by you know we it, we were a different era we were this new hip-hop generation we were uh dealing with gangster rap and a lot of things of that nature that a lot of adults didn't understand but you know through music uh that's what gave us a bond uh myself and mr urban to connect now he was into jazz and funk and that sort of thing, but was also willing to learn a lot about um, hip hop music and was also willing to give us the opportunities for us to um, um, showcase our music. So for uh, talent shows and um, uh, different events, uh, I can remember us doing a rap for a Martin Luther King Day um, event that he actually encouraged us to uh, enter, which we ended up winning. Um, but of course, at the time, that wasn't the cool thing to do. But what it did was it did two things. It, it exposed us to being able to rap about something more than just, you know, girls and whatever we was doing at the time. But it also put us in front of different audiences who could listen to rap music and not um, be so negative about what we were trying to do. So, you know, Mr. Urban was so instrumental in that. I don't even think that he knows how big of an influence he had on my career or um, how a big an influence on the local hip hop scene he had because without him, a lot of people wouldn't even know it was possible to do these things. And, um, yeah, man, I just really appreciate dude for that. And, and still to this day, we, uh, play drums. I still play drums up at Mount Zion, uh, and he's playing the bass right next to me. So shout out to Mr. Wadey Urban, Mini middle school. And, uh, man, just really appreciate you for all you've done. Thank you.